Okay, so uh, we're ready for the. Come on, three, two, one. Hello. The bitch for you. you bitch bada. for you. Oh. Ah, la, 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 la. Yay. Is that your version of the bitch for you intro song? Yeah. Why? Because it sounded good at the time. I like that. You improvise. And I love improv. Improvisation. Right? Jesus. You're like, you think I don't know how to speak? <laughs> um, so we're back. We did the um, last time that people heard us was on the episode titled Three Guys. No, Three Girls, One Guy, and a Cake. Remember that one? Three men and a little lady. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was episode 62. That's the one we did with the girls. Yeah, yeah. And I did this. Um, uh, I had this. Uh, well, I, we brought up one of the questions on the uh, episode about uh, s- people wearing socks and sandals or socks with their flip flops out in the street. Mm-hmm. Um. I know that's been a trend for like fucking ages, but like it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I I ha- I get hot. I don't want if I'm gonna wear socks, shoes, or sneakers. Better go over the over them, <laughs> those fucking socks. What do you think of that? To me, the whole purpose of sandals is so your feet can breathe. Exactly. So you're defeating the purpose by putting socks on. Exactly. But hey, I agree, and I know some people love it. Um, I, My own daughter does it. Your daughter, yeah, she admitted it. Naomi was on, was on the podcast, and she said that she enjoys it. Hey, but you know, it's nothing against that. We just, I just find it kind of odd, and everybody has their own little odd things. I'm sure she finds things that I do odd, just like you find some things that I do odd. So, but I went to social media, uh, particularly this one. It comes from Facebook. We have a Facebook group, by the way. Just go to the group section on your Facebook app. And when you click on search, type in bits for you, you'll find us there. Uh, so I asked in the uh, group, who the fuck wears socks with sandals? Um, so I'm going to read uh, the people's answers because uh, they, they post it. That's how it is. Uh, Andrea Lopez says socks with sandals. Oh, she's, she put a link to a, 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 I guess a Disney Channel song. Uh, Andrea Cunningham says that's a California no, no, lol. <laughs> I can. I think you. That's when you went to California, right? Uh, three years ago or so. Yeah. Um, I replied Florida as well because people in Florida fucking love wearing that shit. Um, Chris uh, or Magic Man One Eight Seven. He's a a streamer on YouTube and Twitch. Um. Says that he does it. He wears it. He's in Texas. He so he, <laughs> he admitted it. Yeah. He says, plus I wear black socks with white shoes. Oh I'm socially God. awkward. <laughs> he said. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, Brian uh, Anthony says, you can find the tourists out here in Hawaii normally by this standard. <laughs> Only the t- you see the fucking locals in Hawaii don't wear that shit. They're like, that's the stupidest shit ever. You're a fucking tropical place and you're wearing socks and and flip flops or sandals. Let the fucking <sighs> show off those those sexy toes and those sexy that, that feet. Next, you know. They're ashamed of the toe. Who gives a fuck? I go out with my, something. I try not to, but I forget to. Clip my toenails and I go out with them, you know, like, uh, what's what? What's the term? No, 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 not the claws. The term, um, with the talons. With the talons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next one we have here is uh, Saraf Pa says me. Uh, he says he loves doing weird things. <laughs> and uh, Damien. Chud Hurry says, facts, don't know how, wait, don't they know how fucking ridiculously stupid they look? <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> Karen Rebel Soul Davis. 
Sandals or slides? Yeah, they're actually slides. But both are ridiculous. Yeah. She says, yeah, because some people have terrible toes. See, <laughs> so, yeah. and you know or want to keep their feet soft, is what she says. Yes. Keeps your feet clean. Because you can, okay, you're wearing sandals, but your feet are protected with the socks. You're looking at me like I'm crazy? Yeah, that's the, I, is, I still don't. No, I'm not saying that it makes sense. You're validating them wearing. Yeah, I mean, they want not obviously. Validating it, but I'm trying to understand their logic, their crazy logic. Well, what we think is crazy, they don't see it. Yeah. They probably think we're crazy because we wear sandals with no socks. Could be. Could be. They're probably like, look at those fools showing off their toes their, their and toes. getting their feet dirty. That's what a, a bucket is for or a shower. I just. Jump in and wash it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, who? What's next here? Oh, Fausto Ben. <laughs> he raised his hand. He does it. Uh, what else did he write? He says, "Bro, no hay que ser raro." That means you don't have to be weird to want to be comfortable. I'm chilling with my socks and sandals. Porque así no, así no me los los pies. Así no me... Oh shit! <laughs> me ensucia los pies. Basically, he's stating that that way his feet won't get dirty. But he put a symbol there. <laughs> <It's in your laughs> they put a don't don't mention. <laughs> oh. oh shit! Um, Robert Gomez says. Me, because no one wants to see or smell my stump. Stump? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what Joe calls He that? says, rotting flesh with f- fresh openings. I can clear a room when not wearing my pads. <laughs> this guy. He's fucking funny. Um, you know, my sister calls them her dogs. Oh, her dogs? Her feet. She which, calls them the dogs. sister? The one in Cali. Shout out to uh, Jojo. Jojo. Uh, what about your other sister, Yvette and Zoraya? Do they do they wear socks and? No. No, they don't, right? No. Okay. Uh, then Shailene. Oh, sorry. Roger Pradeda says the base. <laughs> okay. And then Shailene Kent says, "I know, right? So tacky." I think that was it for that. I don't think there was any um uh, any responses uh in the other places. Mostly Facebook. Yeah. Oh, and Mikey underscore seven. He says I actually do on some kung fu shit. Only because I always wear socks twenty four seven. Mm. So he always wears socks. That makes Regardless that makes yeah yeah yeah. I don't. All right, so we got so you see we got some <clears throat> interaction with uh with followers from our Facebook and Instagram. Instagram, you can you guys can follow us at Bits for You Pod. Uh, Facebook is as I mentioned earlier, search in the groups just for Bits for You. And um, yeah, what else? What what else is new? What else did we do? Have we been up to? Oh wait, this is the episode that's that's airing. Uh, because this is the intro. I'm trying to speed this up because you guys can listen to it. We talk about swamp ass. Well, not swamp ass. Body odor. Remember we had that conversation. Oh yeah. And we talk about messy partners or ha- or being with someone. Either married or not married, or just in a relationship with um, that the other partner that that the person's with, guy or or female or or gender fluid, whatever the fuck they're identifying with these days. In this case, you give an example of a well, a friend of yours, um, with uh, uh her husband is not so clean, mm-hmm. and how it drives her nuts. Uh, we talk about that. We talk about, uh, oh, well, my my example of dealing or being around someone that 
it's kind of mean to say, but it's fucking words only. You got to say it. Uh, smells like fucking death. Like almost all the time. Uh, I mentioned that it's someone that I work with. But should I should I should I make the announcement? We recorded that three days before I fucking quit. <laughs> I'm still there until the 17th of the month. Um, so obviously I just keep things. I don't mention names or anything like that in the in the actual episode. But um, yeah, we go into that. Do you want, so ask me why I quit? Why did you quit, sir? Because it was so much bullshit. I was there nine years. Uh, sounds like my story. Well, you just started. No, no, no. My oh, previous, previous job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there for nine yeah, years. yeah. I was there nine years. Um, in 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 the end, without going into too much uh, politics or details about it, maybe in the future I'll discuss this since it's still kind of uh, fresh in the in the mind. Uh, I don't want to get worked up, but um. The company's gone through some ups and downs financially. They're sort of stable, but they're still um, in the process of making cuts or trying to figure out what to cut. And they started singling me out, uh, even though I've been there nine years, um, uh, particularly doing this current. I was I switched positions in the same business um, a few years ago. Yeah, you know, if you ask anybody there, do they love do they love what they do? They're, they're going to be honest and say, no, we fucking don't. But, you know, they're not going to say it right there because they have to put that fake smile, that fake, uh, you know, persona and say, oh, I love going to work when I fucking don't. You know, it just pays the bills. If you give, take every, 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 I would say 99% of them, you take them out to a bar and then you get, they have a couple of drinks. The truth will come out and they'll tell you what they feel about that place. But that's how it is. A lot of we we can go a little bit deeper. That's how it is. That's how it is in a lot of corporate America jobs. You just it's just tedious and you're doing the same fucking shit, same fucking shit. You try to move up and you can't because the only way to move up is that person has to die. I mean, it's sad, but or 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 retire or something, which doesn't happen. You know, happens what every decade or so. And and there's some some people that just get tired of waiting. I mean, I I. I I've wanted to leave for, for a long time, for many years. Uh, just things happen at the time. You know, it's never a perfect time, um, which is why I talked to you about it, right? You were kind of you were kind of in the same issue last year. You were, like, not sure if you should leave your previous em- uh, employment. Mm-hmm. And you and I talked about it, and I told you, just fucking leave. There's never going to be a right time. Yeah. Right? It never is a right time. Never is. You just have to grab take your the, bag and leave. Plunge. Yeah. So... Two weeks ago, they, like I mentioned, they were trying to sing me out. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, yeah, so uh, after the second or third attempt, whatever, I think it was the second time, I just said, you know what? Fuck it. Here you go. I'll give me my two weeks. I'm out. They were in shock. They were like, oh, my God, you know. But anyway, I'm going to get too, too much in, into it right now. So, yeah. And I'm fucking stoked. So am I. Why? Because you're going to have some freedom. You're probably thinking you're going to be here with me. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't have a job. But I guess I financially, I'll be okay. For, for a while. Until the end of the year, maybe. Uh, longer than that. Yeah, longer than that. I'm going to study a bit, get some certifications that I've been trying dying to do for years procrastinating is a perfect opportunity what do you think agree well, of course because we talked about it last week duh when it happened jesus keep up babe mm-hmm. my god jesus um yeah uh that's it that's it that's it this is uh how long has this recorded been going uh i can't see now oh shit 14 minutes damn we talked too much I was reading all those comments. So, um, yeah, uh, keeping this short, please give us a review, a rating. If you like it, just go for the full five stars. If you don't like something, give us the appropriate star rating. 
tell us what, what what we can improve. You can also tell us what we can improve uh, uh, as a uh, direct message or DM on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Email us at bitsforyoupodcast at gmail.com. If you go to the social media that I mentioned earlier for Instagram, Facebook, you'll find the actual email there. So you can you don't have to, uh, if you're like, oh, shit, he said it so fast. Just go to um, Instagram profile. You'll see the email there. Twitter, you'll see the email as well if you want to do that. Uh, you know, that way you take your time to uh, give us uh, topics that you want to us to discuss. Uh, in the bits for you, as for you long time listeners, you're probably thinking, well, why you guys don't talk about video games for the past three or four episodes or, or movies or things? We, we, we still do, but my intention was n- never to always have it in that, uh, uh, what is that called? Niche? Niche? Right? Is it niche? Sure. That niche? Yeah. yeah, niche. Um, it's that fucking French word. It's difficult to pronounce sometimes. So I want to kind of branch out a bit. It's still we're still I'm still going to talk to um, Javier. Um, you know he's still uh, involved in the Twitter profile, and he's still going to be posting wrestling stuff, video game stuff. You know Nintendo because he loves Nintendo so much, and I will be involved in you know more or less in the other platforms. But I also want to you know. I've had people here in the past four to five episodes. They've come over and I've interviewed them face to face, or we've done Skype uh, or remote recordings face to face with the other podcast that I had. Uh, uh, Chris from Control C and Gaming Dads podcast here. I'm talking to another, a couple other people in the podcast universe to be guests. I'm trying to see if one of them, will, uh, well, trying to work out the time with one of them this weekend, or if not. Uh, in the next week um what else yeah and then now that i have no nine to five bullshit corporate job i would have more time to focus on the podcast come up with ideas reach out to people to see if they want to become a guest um and pop up here in the bits for you studio slash home because the studio is in is in my home and uh i can i can even do remote you know like i've done in the past remote there's things have gotten better the applications to do remote access is a lot better and easier <clears throat> so yeah things are looking good keep up uh sorry keep on listening uh i appreciate all your support and that's it. I've, I've dragged this on too long. Over you want, and out. You want to say? You want to say any any last things? Over and out. Over and out. Over and out. I like it sexy. That deserves a kiss. All right then. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I could, but I'm not going to. Keeps her raw. This is not radio. Uh, Diana, this, this, this is my radio voice. Hello, I'm Robert, and this is the Bits for You. I'm here, joined with... Diana. And tell me your radio voice. Introduce it to the world. Hello, my well, name is Diana. Wow, why do you got to sound like you're like underwater? Underwater? <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Underwater, I wouldn't be alive. Uh, you're, gra- a you're a great swimmer. Yeah. Um, you're, you, don't think so? you don't think so? No. I keep telling you that I can show you. You just don't want to have lessons. Why? Because I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? I'm scared. You're scared? Look, that one has double. double. What are you showing me? The rose. You see it has the double double inside bud? It looks like a vagina from here. It's a twin. So I've seen seen vaginas like that. Babe, really? Like, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how how was your day today? Let's start off with that. It's Monday. Yeah. Need I say more? Did you have an appointment today? Yes. Where'd you go? A dermatologist. No, not that. The other one. Oh, the orthodontist. Yeah. What did you? My favorite place. So how much uh, did you finally ask how? When I've the braces are coming times off, times and he just says, "Moving right along." Wait, if a fucking if I, if I've had braces on, <laughs> and I would ask him the, the the doctor, when the, when do these braces are these braces coming off? And if he tells me moving right along, I'll be like, "Yo, that's not what I fucking ask you, man. <laughs> when the fuck do you think these are gonna come off? How can you just take that as an answer?" No, he doesn't say it like that. Usually, he says, "Moving right along," as as he's walking away. <laughs> Oh. But I, I really don't remember exactly what he said. Maybe he told you and you just blanked out. No, no? he didn't. He he said something, but it he never gives a date. Why? No date involved. What's wrong with this guy? I don't know. <laughs> and it pisses me off because I hear him telling other you sh- people you should another ask, seven weeks or you should ask another the, three days or whatever. Ask the, the assistant. Yo, the I assistant just, tells me, oh, you have to ask him. I would say I fucking asked him. He didn't give me a fucking answer. <laughs> I have a feeling that before the wedding, they were just like mm-hmm. doing like standard things to my mouth. And now they're trying to intensify the treatment. Why? Does it hurt? Right now it doesn't. But now I I see it like they're more focused on certain things to be <clears> done <throat> in my mouth. Hmm. I'm going to give them my foot up there in their mouth. Watch. Well, when do you go back in a month? Meal, yeah. You gotta wear those bands. Yeah. It's not gonna and that's work. another reason why I haven't been pushing because I know I spent at least two months without wearing it. Not wearing it. I, we went on the cruise. Right. We did. Th- we, we went to things. Orlando. We went to Texas. I think. Yeah, Texas. I think Texas was when I was started. That's when you started. To start. Yeah. <laughs> and I wore them like a couple of days, and I was like, "No, this is too painful." But then the last time I went. To the ortho. She you just took off like, your glasses. How are you going to see? What do I need to see? Me. I can see you. Oh, okay. You're just a blur <laughs> right now, but yeah. Um, That's how you prefer to see me. The last time that blur. I went to my appointment, she, the the assistant, the one that was doing my, had me. She had to take care of me that day because every day is a different person. Um, she was like, I promise you, if you wear them for a week, it's not going to hurt. You'll get used to it. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, but I forget. I take them off and I forget to put them back on the bands. Yeah. The ones that connect the top and bottom. Right. So then she was like, oh, put them around. Put when you take it off, put the new one around your finger. And you'll remember. Because your finger's going to turn blue. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, but it rem- it reminds me. Yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. I did it twice. Painful finger. No, well, thank you. Wow. That's it. My story's done. That's your day, up to now. And I worked. How was work? I mean, I mean I the same shit. Yeah, haven't hit that lotto. That's what work is for—to bore you to death. You haven't won the lotto yet. You you lost those lotto tickets, and I'm very upset. 
We could be millionaires now. Well, that's when the California person won. The 540 million, I think. Yeah? Yeah. We could have had a smaller... Maybe, maybe that person came to our house... Got our winning tickets, and that's where you can't find. That's where you can't find it. All the it. way from California. They fucking came over here. That fucking asshole. Yeah. We're gonna have to. T- that was strange. I've never lost a lotto ticket. That, but he has it. He fucking has it. You know his name? I'll go over there right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna update you on that. Us, you know, to the listeners. Um, mm. what else is new? What did we do this weekend? I don't remember. Uh, went car shopping. Oh, you're. F- yeah, yeah. Um, why was this gonna go on screensaver? The first time around, the first. This is the second we time we go to. with her car shopping. The first. Yeah, right? but I'm talking about this time around. Oh, okay. What about this time? The first day, which was Saturday, I only I went. Uh huh. Yes, you did. And the car I'm never glad, showed I'm up. I'm glad I didn't go. The car never showed up. Where was it at? Some supposedly another location. Auto Nation Dodge Chrysler. It, m- it must have and been Pines Boulevard. It must have been another if location you're listening, on Mars because if you're it listen- never got there. If you're listening, go fuck yourself. Terrible service. Horrible service. Pembroke Pines off of I seventy five. So. Two hours they waited. No, the car never showed up. Yeah, eventually. And they made an appointment. And they made an appointment, and the guy confirmed. Yeah. I'm glad I wasn't there. I would have like. I don't even know what I would have done, but uh. So yesterday I went along, and because I was to there, because I was there to another location, they they knew that shit was gonna go down. They're like, oh shit, Robert's here. Let's let's do this. Let's do everything legit. Wow. Yeah, they know me. Okay. That's why everything was like quick, quick. You know? Within half an hour, she test drove it and did all that. Right? Yeah. That's what happens when I go. Everywhere I go. Yeah? Yeah. So, what car? Well, she, she, got got a, she got a, a 2016 Dodge Charger. Yeah. The Bat, oh, aka the Batmobile. Yep, that's her Batmobile. <laughs> She's a big Batman fan. Hey, uh, uh, moving moving to something more important. So, I'm not gonna give any names, but there is someone at my job that when I I've mentioned here before that. My job has mostly women, so it's very obvious. It's gonna, it's, this is good. this is a woman. I've been I've been there for a few years, but this person. I don't I don't really interact with this person daily, but weekly I do. Mm-hmm. I don't know how people don't pass out when they're around her. This person has a smell of like death. <laughs> oh my fucking God. like ass and death and fucking rats or fucking. <laughs> it's like an animal crawled up inside her and just died. How the fuck do you do? Does someone tell someone? <laughs> it's like, how the fuck do you work with someone like that? That's a good question to ask the listener. Anybody. How just do give you me- <laughs> approach someone and tell them that they smell? Yeah, okay, but I'm asking. Or would you even? But uh, I, 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 I don't think anybody has, or maybe somebody knows, or maybe the, at least the manager knows that hired her. I don't know if this is something that just happened within the last few years. Um, it's been there since, I, since I've been in that, in that place. So maybe, and that's, I can't give too many details, but, but how the fuck? Okay. Like. My question is, is it B.O.? To the, to. Or is it no? M- I don't think mouth. It, I don't. I don't. Oh, you mean like okay? So that, that, that's what I was trying to figure out. And and lately, I guess it, there's moments or weeks that it's not as bad. Mm-hmm. But for the past week, it's like fucking, like you open up like the fucking landfill of Miami, oh. and it's like like that shit. <laughs> 
Okay. It's fucking but is bad. Is it from the mouth? So I, I, I was trying to figure it out, and then we there was a meeting involved with uh, a bunch of us. Um, I got stuck sitting near this person. And when the person opened their mouth, it was a hundred <laughs> times worse. <laughs> like I tried, <laughs> I tried don't make me laugh. <laughs> look, we're not laughing at uh, making fun of people that with with s- it's fucking your face. Your smells. Eyes are it's tiny, just, but they got huge. It's right just now. damn. How the fuck do you tell someone? Like <laughs> it's coming from the inside. It's the inside. So it's halitosis. I don't. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Yeah, it's from her mouth. What is it like? Rotten glands in the mouth. The, the tongue is falling comes, off or something. Sometimes and, it's all the way from the inside, like stomach issues, damn intestinal issues, and it permeates all the there way. There needs up. to be a pill or something for that shit. Because that's fucking. Maybe she needs a cleansing. A, a big cleansing. <laughs> they need to take everything out, wash it, scrub it down, then put it back in. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's like, fuck. It's like the worst. I've never I've never experienced that. And you know, you know my sense of smell is terrible. It's not that, yeah. It's, it's not terrible. That it's not the greatest. You're like, do you smell that? I'm like, no. I have to get really close. But th- I this whole week, <laughs> I just walk by. I just walk by the aisle. I smell it. Because she's breathing. Yeah. It also has to do with age. Is she an older lady or? How I'm old? just gonna say she's over forty-five. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, but I don't know how old. Not. I'm not gonna say how old she is. Mm. I mean, that's a tough, tough. Ca- okay, so in that meeting, I know that I'm not the you... only one that that knows. Everybody knows, and everybody, I guess, tries to like. In the meeting, right? You said that you were sitting next to her, right? Was there anyone else sitting close to her? Yes. On the other side, on her other side. Did you happen to see the other person's reaction? Did yeah. Did they react? No. No? No. But I think they're doing that out of... Courtesy. In the courtesy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, I how react, do you react? I Okay, this is me. Look, I, you guys can't see this. I'm going to get a video camera before the end of this year. <laughs> I'm going to do it with cameras. But you try to uh, 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 verbalize my expression. So I'm like, she's on my left, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like this. So after she started um, speaking, yeah, I'm and like, you got the what am I? Of what it, am I doing? What he I started n- rubbing his the tip of his nose, right? Like I have an itch. Trying to cover his nose, and then I would go like that, <laughs> trying to cover his nose. Yeah, from the funk. Of my fingers smell like food because I was eating something, uh, peanuts or something. So I was trying to get that peanut smell. <laughs> <laughs> over the other smell. <laughs> Babe, maybe you should start doing like a person that I know. Just take some menthol with you. And Fuck you menthol. That's nose. the worst shit ever. That's that's like, it's not as bad as this person's odor. And, and we've established it's not really, I don't think it's the body odor, but the her insides are like rotting or something. It's fucking. Yeah, I, yeah it happens. It's fucking bad. It also happens too when the person doesn't speak too much. If it's a quiet, this person speaks a lot, oh, which is even, <laughs> which is even worse. This person didn't speak at all. Uh, I were, I'm being mean, but fuck. No, but it's not being mean. It's just you got to talk it out that way. No, <laughs> yeah. I, how do I? I, I mean, I, I can't. I, I can't even conf- Who do I confide in? My coworkers and say, hey, do you notice when this so and so talks, it's like death is coming out of that fucking mouth. And the thing they're probably going to agree with me because I'm not the only one that can smell that shit. The thing is, what that are you googling? When they have that smell, are you googling tips? Well, if anybody uh, deals has dealt with this in a workplace or a family or a friend, like what what tips do you have to like fucking not pass out from this shit? Cause, coño, as they say in Miami, de binga. Y de madre, y de padre. Actually, halitosis is not when it comes from the inside. What is it? Halitosis is like bad breath from your mouth, not mm. from further. Uh, I tr- I th- hmm. The thing is that, okay, here's here's an example. 
this person has their mouth closed and they're breathing and it's still. So it must because be it comes out her nose. from her nose. Oh, well, because the, everything in the mouth is connected to the nose. So that makes sense. If it is coming from the mouth. But I don't know. I don't know if it's from the mouth. Like something rotten, rotting. In, you know, one of her molars is rotting. It could be in, in, from the insides. But anyways, I just had to bring that up because I'm like, fuck. I need some help, man. Not not really help for me, but like, what tips do do? Well, it's not a tip. Anybody but it, have? There's something here that says that GERD, G E R D, symptoms are a very common digestive um, system uh-huh. disorder that can cause bad breath. So maybe she has like some kind. And of she doesn't eat. She doesn't issue. eat the greatest, healthiest food all the time. Like sometimes she'll be eating like fried. Like, not a fry, but like chicken wings and like fucking french fries. And sometimes mm-hmm. she'll eat maybe uh, food from home, but sometimes she goes out to eat. You Most of the time she goes out breath, to eat. So It could be coming from your gut. Yeah, it's definitely coming from her fucking soul. It's like her soul's rotting or something. Oh <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I just had to get that out. So there's no tips. The internet is not helping us. No, there are tips. What are they? What do they say? Like, don't look, don't don't close, pinch your nose. Well, one that I can think of is for you to put a nice big pack of gum on her desk and just have do it anonymously. But then that would just cover it up. Yeah, I, I, I've seen her. I've seen her chewing, chewing gum, gum and does nothing. Nothing. Pobrecita. Nothing. Like it's it's fucking bad. I've never I've never encountered this in my life. But uh, whatever it's called, GERD. Well, is there a cure for this it shit? Basic, is there a cure? It basic. Well, GERD is just uh-huh. one of the things that I saw. It oh. doesn't mean that that's what she has. Okay. But basically, it says. Why like, don't you Google you death to, from inside? You have to basically take care of what's causing it. So in this case, if it is GERD, Diet. it's reflux. Oh shit! So she needs to stop eating at a certain time. Right. Try to eat food that's not as won't cause fried food or acidity so or a yeah. lot of acid reflux fast food whatever yeah yeah shit i don't know i'm sure she's seen she must have seen a doctor at some point about this and she needs to see another doctor anyways okay enough of me talking <clears throat> about this poor lady right Hello? Yes. Yeah? You, what else did you see? No cures? It says you may want to limit or avoid these foods. Alcohol, coffee and teas, onions, garlic, citrus nope. fruits and juices. Nope. Everything there she eats. Tomato products, coffee. peppermint, spicy foods, chocolate and fried or fatty foods. You just listed all her favorite foods that I see her <laughs> on, her, on her desk. <laughs> I see that shit on her desk. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, that's all her favorite food. <laughs> you just listed everything. <laughs> print that out and I'll put it on her desk anonymously. Maybe you should print it out like in a big billboard. No, that's fucked up. No, yeah. wait, put uh-huh. it on a big billboard like right. the way they do on the cafeteria that they always put like the OSHA requirements and all of that for like. Um, right, and people's birthdays and shit. Yeah, uh-huh. you put it there. Nice big billboard. How to get rid of GERD. <laughs> How to get rid of GERD. <laughs> How to get rid of bad breath. <laughs> Things to do. Damn. Do's and don'ts. <laughs> Q and A. Why don't they? Why doesn't my manager like or the because somebody make her work from home? Like, yo, stay that's at, stay too home. Personal. You can't. There, there, Jeez. There's no way to ap- approach that except putting her. She's in a, a good corner. employee, but goddamn, that shit. That's the only way. You put her in a corner and no one else around her. But then she'll feel. She used to be in a corner. Oh, maybe in the that's old office. Why. That there's no corners in this new office. Everything, but he's in the middle. Everybody's in the center. The corners like are only fishbowl. the corners are only offices. I mean, yeah, office. Yeah, that's it. There's everything's cubicle in the center of the building. How tall are the cubicles? Maybe you not a t- lot, because at your desk, do you smell it? No, that's a good thing. Oh, okay. It's only when I walk around the aisle. Okay, so just avoid it. Uh, it's not easy. Or you could wear. Plugs it's on a, your nose like I do sometimes. She's in a high traffic area at times. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a way. There's a way. 
to not mm. pack pass codes and not no. collect $200. I hope my no fucking lie. I hold my breath when I walk by there. <laughs> I fucking I'm like, okay, let me see. I, I, and I'm a swimmer, so I can you know I have pretty good lungs. I hope. <laughs> It takes me about 25 seconds to walk past that area to my desk. So I could hold my breath for 30 seconds. <laughs> Poor lady. I know. She, yeah, she must have killed her husband. I don't know. I don't know. If, you think she ate him I don't or know. I don't like, know with that, with that oh, odor. Okay, I mean, I, I don't know if he's alive or not. But if he's not alive, I know how he died. Poor she, guy. Maybe she burned the nose hairs off of him. I don't know. Pobrecito. Yeah, it's crazy. So, we saw Mission Impossible 6, or also known as Mission Impossible Fallout, on Friday. Hey! <laughs> you didn't like it at all? I don't like Tom Cruise. Why not? What is it about him you don't like? He looks like he's crazy. He looks crazy? Yeah. Has and he always looked? But he's in some of your favorite movies. You like Interview with the Vampire. You like Legend. So is there an era of Tom Cruise yes. that you enjoyed? And then another Prior era of... him jumping on the couch. Or that was 2005. Yeah. That was before... That was... Uh, 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 he was promoting War of the World. So before he... And that's prior to me knowing that he's like one of the poster... Uh, Scientology? Scientology But you're, put, you're mixing his personal life with his career i don't i don't know but that's not the only reason okay so i mean he's a good actor i just don't like him too much uh-huh but you so you didn't you didn't enjoy the I movie i love legend i know you do one of my favorite movies okay an interview and you like far and away i love far and away he All does those a movies he does a shitty prior. irish accent but it was a good movie oh well, that's true yeah so, you didn't enjoy the movie, Mission Impossible Fallout? I was awake the entire time. I'm surprised. You tried falling asleep, but then there was like an I explosion. Tried. You're like, oh, shit. Here goes another explosion. Yeah. <laughs> it's just repetitive. Like, how much action can you have? But it wasn't... I, I And all those things that he did, and he didn't, like, in the movie, uh -huh. really? He does everything he's himself. Alive. Everything himself. All his he's own stunts. He's alive after all of that. Yeah. He's Tom Cruise. Sign, the powers of Scientology keep him alive. What the, what the, what's, who do they worship? Zulu? Zer? Whatever the fuck? The alien in the mountain? <laughs> in the volcano? <laughs> the volcano god kept him alive throughout the whole movie. Oh, he's going to jump out of an airplane at 25,000 feet? Don't worry. I'm going to keep him alive. This is the volcano god talking. Oh, he's um, on a motorcycle in, uh, going through traffic, driving through traffic? He's going to be alive. Don't worry. What else did he do? Oh, he's climbing on the on a side of a cliff, a thousand feet above ground. No, he's he's that, gonna be okay. The helicopter thing was like ridiculous. The helicopter thing was ridiculous. pretty cool. That helicopter would have been on the ground. Oh, I agree. Yeah, as yeah. As soon as it caught fire. <laughs> like well, that fire wasn't realistic. It was CGI fire. It was the helicopter was fine. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I thought it was the best Mission Impossible yet. Uh, oh, the pacing. The first one that I sit through. So. Yeah, you did. The, uh, when we started dating, that's when we uh, saw the previous one, Rogue Nation. You actually knocked out for like ten minutes in that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have known by then. I was like, oh shit, she doesn't like Tom Cruise. <laughs> you should have known. I gave you a warning all the way <laughs> from the very first. But this one was it's it's very well done. The pacing, the music, the the plot, the the villain, the action sequences were top notch. All everything, it's it's up they there. They worship Zenu. Zenu, see, uh, something like that. L. Ron Hubbard, yeah, he's the guy. Um, I was reading something that Tom Cruise now moved to Florida because in, uh, the headquarters of Scientology is in Tampa, Clearwater, the Clearwater area. Uh. So he's he's around there. Where was it that we were and we were like right across the street from one? What state? That was the headquarters. That was it? That's yes, the headquarters, yeah. Yes. The yes. Scientology. Yes. It says Church of Scientology. Yes. Yeah. So he moved to Florida. They said that he sold his mansion in, in California for like 20 or 30 million. So they believe that humans evolved from clams, really? From clams, yo. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not from mushrooms. But from clams. Ooh, don't mention mushrooms. Well, mushrooms are in, is in our DNA. 
Okay. The mushroom scientists have proof. We saw this in the documentary, that Scientology stuff. Isn't that the one with Leah Leah Remini? Is her name the one Leah that she Remini. used to be? Us uh, yeah. and mm-hmm. she 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 left. <clears throat> she's pretty tough when she does those interviews. She's like, "What did they do to you? Isn't she from like New York yeah, and shit?" She's, she's like, "What did they do to you? You tell from me." Up north. Yeah, up north. Yeah. <laughs> you don't mess with her. <laughs> I can't believe she lasted like she think she said twenty years. And I think her <clears throat> entire family was in it too. They get you young. Yeah. Brainwash they recruit you. you. Yep. But that's every religion. Every religion brain gets you young. Every cult, every religion. They're very similar. Just some have... Uh, one of them has uh, deities that are dead and the other ones have deities that are alive. Deities? Deities, sorry. Jesus Christ, you corrected my freaking English. Sorry, I was... It's okay. It's perfectly fine. Um, what else? What else? So yeah, Mission Impossible Fallout. Check it out. It's fucking amazing. Uh, my verdict is fan fucking tastic. You gotta check it out. Uh, what else did we, what else did we see? We saw Leave No Trace, right? <coughs> that, that independent movie. That can me you tell us was, what? Can you tell us what it, what's it about a little bit without else. spoiling things? Well, what it was about. It's about a father Mm -hmm. that has PTSD. Yeah. And he basically cannot follow society. He wants to live free. Off the grid. Off the grid. And he does anything Mm -hmm. and everything to try to stay off the grid with his daughter. Living outside in the woods. Yeah. His daughter's like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. She must be around that age, like 14 years old. Yeah. It was good. Really Very good. good. Interesting. Very good movie. And I, I kind of under, like, I, I was siding with him the entire time. Why? You you sometimes wish that you could live off the grid? Yes, of course. <laughs> away from people? Yeah. <laughs> By yourself? You don't want to. It's wanna, not even away from You wouldn't from take people. me with you? It's just at peace. You wouldn't take me with you? Of course. Oh, okay. Thank you. You probably wouldn't survive. That's more my thing. Than no, me. I would survive. I like that. You need people. I don't. I don't need people. I can go. Well, I need my family. If I need people, I just husband. go into town. Just walk into town. Oh, yeah. Go on the call Uber. Yo, yeah, come pick me up. Follow you. Come pick me up in that tree right there. That's the thing. That wouldn't work very long because once you someone tries to make friends with you, they'll be like, oh, you let's know, go hang I out. Go visit. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. My house is everywhere. Where's your where do you live? I live wherever <laughs> I want. So you're homeless. No, this is my home. Everything. <laughs> That's it. I'm not homeless. Everything, everywhere. So is my when home. they ask you, so where do you live? Earth. Earth, the planet. Really? What city? Every city. I pick a new city every every week. I move. And that's when they walk away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure one or two will stick around. Yeah. I'll still have a cell phone. No, that wouldn't be living off the no. grid. <laughs> you couldn't do it. I don't think I could do it either. But it, it's it's. <clears throat> You have nice kids. You you would need about. to know about your kids. I don't have kids. No, but the girls would come visit me. But that's not. I can still receive visits. Oh, you can still receive visits. Where, where? mom? Where oh, wait, are you today? Wait, wait. Mom, where are you today? No. I don't have a cell phone. How are no, you going to tell not them? Like that. Oh, okay. Living off the grid with a home. <laughs> oh, you want a, like a home? Yes. Not living in the, in the not living in a tent. Somewhere? No. No. No tent living. Thank you. You know, me and bugs do <clears> not. They're not friends. We're not friends. So no electricity. No, of course I would have electricity. That's not off the grid. Source or like your Sourced. solar power. Yes. Okay. I would have solar power doing everything for me. Uh huh. I could probably go a couple. No hours. internet. I could probably go a couple of hours. Without internet or anything. no internet? No, with internet. That's not off the grid. True off the grid living is no outside technology. Um, There's people that live off the grid and they have internet. Yeah, but I wouldn't call that off the grid. That's too. um, That's a form. That's a okay. Let's call that modern off the grid. But real 
old school off the grid is nothing. Yeah, I've seen those shows. Exactly. So you yeah. can't you can't deal well, with you're, that. You're you're um, basically growing your own veggies and you have animals. And right. You can't go to you know no chickens, no help with supermarket no help with markets. Yeah. I don't know. You if have I to could hunt live, yourself. I don't know. I mean, if hunt now yourself. Hunt for food. Internet. I could probably go a couple of days without it because I did it on a boat, but. You on did, a ship. You did seven days. Yeah. So I know I can. It would just be weaning myself off, I guess. I'm so used to having the internet in my hand. Yeah. On my phone. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? Uh, that brings me back to. Um, so we went on our honeymoon uh, two months ago in May. And as you mentioned, we were on the ship with, you know, we ha- we were basically off the grid and as far as internet and cell phones and social media, etc. Someone else we know went on their honeymoon about a month or, or so ago. Or now, now, well, it's going on two months now. <clears throat> and they were posting shit like every fucking day on social media, pictures, and I'm like... And I kind of, I, I, I talked about it to this person. I'm like, uh, just, you know, relax. Enjoy your honeymoon. Don't. They completely ignored it. <laughs> they must have posted over 200 pictures. What do you think of that? Like, why why would, would you do that? Something like that? Or would you go back to, like, not being completely disconnected? Even though, you, even though they have internet. It, and it's. It doesn't cost them anything. What would you have done? Well, in my case, vacation is getting away, like, from everything. Mm-hmm. Social media, not having to post every single thing. That when I'm posting me, one person, one that photo. That to me is vacation. For the podcast? When I'm posting one photo for the podcast, it could take me five minutes. And you see me. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm trying to both, trying to think of words. That's five minutes. Imagine posting 200 photos. That's more than five well, minutes. Everybody has their yeah, everybody has their thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that to him or to her is not, you know. Yeah. They can't be off the grid. Mm, yeah, maybe. Not off the grid, but off the... to share their pictures right away off or the internet. whatever. The, the ship kind of forces you. I mean, you can You buy, can pay for it. You can pay for it. It's costly. Yeah, but... It's two different kinds of vacations, maybe. I enjoyed it. Like my my one of the supervisors <clears throat> at my job, she went to um, Morocco and Spain. Uh huh. And I don't think she. I think she posted like three pictures on Instagram right. while she was gone. And then when she came back, she did. I understand. She showed all when, her pictures. When when you come back, that's different. You exactly. can post a few. But to me, but not everything you took. Not two hundred. That's impossible. Well, nobody's gonna also, go to two hundred photos in an album. That also depends on how. You Pick know, the best ones. Everybody has a different, um, you know, some people have traveled more than other people. A person that hasn't traveled that much, maybe it's so exciting that they just want to share, you know. Like, right. I don't know. To each his own. Yeah, to each his own. I just find it silly, that's all. I still love the motherfucker. I do a lot of silly stuff. A lot. But that's why I love you. So, what else? Anything you want to bring up? Did you have something you wanted to bring up? Yeah, I have a coworker that's going kind of crazy. Oh shit! What's going on now? The other day, she was like on the phone, and she was for I guess Coco. she was talking to her husband. She's like, oh. "Well, you need to do this, and you need to do that because you never clean, and this and this and that." Like. Damn. And then she turns around and she's like, do you have that issue? And I'm like, no, like right now I don't. But uh-huh. I, I have you know, dealt with that. And I've also been the bad one, too. Oh, that good. I don't so, so you're saying that I, I don't not messy. You're not messy. I'm the messier of the two. You think so? Yeah. Uh. It's because I have a lot of stuff, too. Right. You have your you have your online and, store. And, yeah. That you're trying to. We're not we're, we don't we're not two a two bedroom condo. We only have one bedroom actually, because the other bedroom was my my brother. So this thing is stuck. Okay, never mind. 
So so what happened with your coworker? So was she? So she was, you know, venting and saying, "Oh, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I don't want to keep keep like at the her, same her thing husband? over and over." You know, like you don't want to sound like a broken record after uh-huh. a while. And she says it basically goes in one ear and out and the out other. other. <laughs> so okay, glass like, going to be. They'll talk about it and like. For two or three days, <laughs> he'll behave. And then he just goes back <laughs> to being a slob. Back. And <clears throat> I told her, everybody has a different level yeah. of cleanliness. But if she's like married with married to this guy. It's just them. And they've been, they've, it, they don't, they don't have, have kids. Children. Oh, shit. So they're young. Okay. So, or oh, must be young, right? Yeah. Maybe. Younger uh, than me. Okay. So they're younger than you. Um, We don't want to give out your coworker's name either. But, um. It could so she if if she's been with him and now they're married they she's been with him for many years. Um, was he living? Did she meet him? Oh, you don't you might not know. Do you know if she met him? Was he living on his own when she met him? Was he living with family when she met him? Do you know? Because maybe I, that comes from like family. Like maybe his mom or or dad picked up all everything and cleaned up everything. Yeah, that think, that could come from that I too. Think that's one of the issues. Um. Cause she mentioned that he was like kind of like a mama's boy. Oh shit! So his mother did everything. Did everything. For him. Oh, what a pussy! And mothers tend to do that for their sons, for their which sons. I think is really bad. But whatever, I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, like that's not your good, mom huh? did a good job. What do you mean, my mom? She would pick up after us, but the, uh, there comes to the point not all the time. She would be like, "You better pick that fucking of shit up. Pick that fucking shit up, Robert." She would t- <laughs> like that to me. She was like, "Pick that fucking shit up, or you're not gonna go out with your friends like that." Like. Exactly. Like, my mom would not let me leave the house or anyone of us or mm-hmm. my siblings. Until or, shit was done. Until All my your bed, choice. at least my bed was fixed mm-hmm. and like anything on the floor is only on the floor because it belongs there. <laughs> like shoes. <laughs> like shoes. <laughs> it's, well, no, socks belong in the sock drawer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but shoes. Like I, my room had to look organized. Yeah, my mom was And the I same totally, way. you know, I get it. Yeah. That's just like basic. Well, my mom didn't that's... want to be a maid. She was like, I'm not a maid for anybody, and especially not my boys. Exactly. She's like, clean, fix your bed and pick up your shit. Well, she she made my job easier and <laughs> sister-in-law's job a little easier, too. So, mm-hmm. so he, this guy probably, well, you said he's a mama's boy. Yeah. So what, what, how do, what did you tell her or, or, or you didn't tell her anything or do you, did you research what to what to do about this well you know me i like to read and i, I love I it when you love to read a couple articles. that means i don't have to read that <clears throat> okay so go ahead you found it what was the article well just give us the the so brief basically, summary basically it's not even just cleanliness mm-hmm. it's when you when your home is clean mm-hmm or not it doesn't have to be sparkling clean it doesn't have to be that you can eat off the floor clean but things in their place mm-hmm. that gives you a sense of peace when your house is a you know Mess. hell on earth you walk in and you're like it, it causes stress it you know your mind doesn't does she rest. have people come over does she is she embarrassed to invite yeah, people she was telling me that her sister came over oh shit <laughs> and he was home and she was working i think he works nights so she came home yeah, and, and he was working i mean yeah yeah she got home uh-huh. and he had left and her sister came over uh-huh and the house was like chaos chaos damn she was so embarrassed yeah, that and is supposedly kind of she invites people over. I mean, he invites people over and like that. It's like he has no regard. He invites his friends. It. Yo, let's go watch the f- soccer game or yeah. football game or whatever yeah. fucking sport he watches. Yep. <laughs> a total mess. Dang. Well, I feel know. bad for her. Like, it's not easy to approach someone and call them out on things like that. Just like your, you know, your coworker. Like, how do you tell someone you have bad breath? You know, that's not well, it's not bad breath. You, it's like. <laughs> dead animal dead something maybe she's a zombie and she eats people i don't know but anyways i know what you're saying so sh- supposedly she's told him a couple times and she's at the point that she's like i, I don't know what else to do go to a fucking therapist and tell I the told fucking her, doctor to, I, to tell him I yo told her, you your guys shit have up. to either find someone Counseling. to speak to like a family member that could be like a third party 
Yeah. Well, you need to find a professional. Yeah. You need to find a because it's not it's not like I was saying it's not only cleanliness it's. Let you me, want your home to be your haven. Let, let me you tell know? you something. I dated a. This reminds me. I dated a woman that was. Yeah, you're probably thinking women messy. Yeah, there was women that are messy. Of course. And I dated one for maybe half a year. And it was constant. Like all the time. Well, relation, that relationship ended. Then it, it, it stays with you. Like it kind of traumatizes you to the point that when I dated another one years later that had signs of messiness, I'm like, nope. Yeah. Bye. Oh, let's go hang out. No, 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 not anymore. You had to walk in the apartment and you had to watch where you step. It was like a fucking hoarder, like a fuck that episode of hoarders. I was like, no, never again, because I know that that's not going to, it's hard to change. I'm not going to waste my time and change it. Let some other family friend member or friend or doctor fucking fix her. I'm not, I wasn't in the point of fixing. I was in the point of, you know, fucking around and shit, you know? To me, that also that like, that's a big turnoff. The way your home looks, it represents you. Especially for somebody that's kind of sort of clean, like me, or not clean but organized. I like to consider myself organized. Look at my fucking, I or alphabetize my books and shit, and my 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 movies and games. You know, my socks are over here. This this yeah, that's way more than me. Right, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. I can't. That's just the way you. Yeah, are. that's the way I was raised. My mom raised me myself and my brothers like that so how do you tell somebody like this let's say i had the issue how would you tell me like you want to role play how would you tell me like first of all i think it needs to be on neutral ground it shouldn't be in the house it should be somewhere outside out of the house where it's neutral that you know no one can go hide behind a door right. or start or like, close the door yeah. oh stop talking to me exactly. <laughs> it should be neutral ground and and you need to sit down and be stern you know it's not a joke anymore right, right. you know okay that that to me is but what would you tell me okay go ahead tell me um first of all i would have backup i would have some kind of research prepared okay an article or something and read it to you and then right. i'll be like babe you need to be a little bit more organized you're driving me nuts uh-huh and then i would say oh but i've tried i don't know how how to do it what do you want me to do let's this do is it how together I and and we have to stick to this and you know if it comes down to it we're gonna have to set rules um uh -huh. we put them on the fridge or we put them somewhere in the house where it's you know like a list of things to do a list of things to do uh yeah at I, least I can, once a week i, I can, used to do it with my girls i can and it worked. i can i can probably possibly do that i can i'm pretty good at reading lists and every day you tackle something if it's 10 things uh -huh. you tackle one thing a day or a day a thing and a half or two things or if you have more time you do more and it's about concentrating on it, too. It's not just, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to do it. And then someone calls you or you find a good show and then it's over. And that's that's what she says that he does. A that lot. He does. He watches TV yeah. a lot on yeah. sports games and all that bullshit. Yeah. Fucking sports. Yeah, I don't have that issue because I don't really watch a lot of sports. I almost none. Just soccer. But the World Cup is over now. And Manchester United has a couple games this weekend. But I have Monday through Friday free. So I'm supposed to do that Monday through Friday? Mm -hmm. I could? Yeah. Yeah. I there is this article here. It's uh -huh. called Ten Simple Things to Make You Make You Happier at Home. And the first thing oh, great. that you always make fun of. of what me. do I make fun of? Make your bed. Jesus, because you number you're one, like you love making that bed number like number one, make your bed. You're excited to do that shit. It's kind of freaky. I'm a little bit like oh, I love shit. beds. I can tell. So I love to you, see them pretty. You make the bed like every day. And to me, once your bed is fixed, mm -hmm. it makes your room, even if you have like a, a little clothes on the corner or you have a little bit of mess with your crafting. Well, the bed <laughs> takes up most of the room. Exactly. It's the biggest so object once your in bed there. Is, all you have to do is clear your bed. And remove the, everything. The rest looks neater. And fix it. Right. Once that's done, you put everything back on the bed and put everything in its place. Mm. It brings you peace in your mind and for your relationship too yeah have people in the relationship well i've left i like i was dating that girl and after after that incident i never i never called her again i never dated her again so i guess it could bring, 
at the relationship or at least the uh, the dating scene. I wonder what it does to a marriage if uh if uh your your coworker would divorce her husband because I mean, he's a messy slob. I don't think she will, but she's holding it a lot of it. It's in. a lot of anger, yeah. She's, uh, it's resentment, you know yeah. that eventually it eats. Yeah, eats into you and makes you angry and. Yeah, you get snappy not, and shit. Yeah, yeah. that's no bueno. So you don't want it to get to that point. Okay, so tell me, how how can you fix me? So it says what here it say? another thing. It says. Um, you have to be patient. You have to have a conversation. But to me, I think she's been extremely patient. <laughs> so I think her next step is have a conversation. It says get practical, uh, practical, uh-huh. compromise, and motivate. So if the person, unfortunately, if the person is not doing anything, you have to find a way to motivate that person. Mm-hmm. So... Well, like you kind of have to be like, hey, if you, you clean this, if you bit? clean this, we'll have sex, something like that. Oh my god! You'll get the little that. You're funny. <laughs> it basically says that you know you could set up a couple. No, I don't know. A couple hours once a month, uh-huh. once or twice a month to do like deep cleaning. And that yeah. way, once the deep cleaning is done, uh-huh. hopefully that person will be motivated to keep it clean. Do it together. Make it fun. Put some fucking yeah, music you... on and dance around like fucking. Like My you're... father used to put music on on Saturdays. That was the cleaning In the day. morning. That yeah. was our cleaning That's like a day. Latin thing. It's five of us. <laughs> My mom used to do the same thing. She used, we used to sleep late on Saturdays. You know, and there's no school uh, the weekend. And she would put some fucking... Uh, What's whatever was big in in the in Spanish radio at that time, and she would open the bedroom doors and she would blast the music, and she and then I would, and I, one of us, uh, my brothers and I shared the room. One of us would say like, "Close the door," and she's like, "No, get the fuck up! It's time to clean." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to wake people up too. With music, you blast the music. Yeah. Hey, you gotta make it fun. That's it? That's all it says in the article? No other... No, there's more things. There's okay, give me complete, a, give me a co- complete each task. This is already like when you're doing, you know, you're already in the, in process. the actual process. It says to complete each task completely. So don't, you know, go to the kitchen and start the kitchen and then get distracted and go to the... Li- I tend to do that sometimes, but I remember to go back. So don't walk away. Clean it mm-hmm. to 100%. Then you move on to the next room. Do that 100% like that. Don't don't leave it halfway because then you it's like you didn't do it. Right. Well, I think I can do that. I'm saying I as in I'm still role playing. I don't I'm acting like the husband of your coworker. What would be my name? Let's not give out his name. Um, Pepito. I'm Pepito. Pepito. Pepito can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the next thing? What do they say? Well, it's saying that if you have to organize things, which in a lot of cases is that. It's not even like true dirt. It's just... It's just organizing. Yeah, organizing put it back where it's placed. place. all the things that you have. Put your book back. It says your... organize first and buy second. So basically, organize everything to get, you know... A bookshelf. Everything that you need to get together. If you don't have a, a spot to put it, and you have to buy bins. Don't buy the bins first. You buy, you organize everything and see what What's you What's left. Have. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have a place. You're not going to buy a huge bin and you end up only with like two, two or three two, right. items. Okay. That's a, that's a good idea. A good, I think uh, that's the tip. biggest, I think that's the biggest thing in a person's home. It's not really like, we're not, I'm not talking about clean, like, oh, there's food on the floor. No, I'm talking about clean, like. Or you're maybe talking about cleaning. It's like organize. The p- correct word is organize. Organize. Most people, I think, it's when I've clutter. been in when I've been in homes like that, or when I was dating that lady, it was clutter. Clutter. It's basically you walk in and start taking. You can't step anywhere. Right yeah, there. there's socks on the floor. There's this clothes on the floor. Panties on the floor, which is fine. I don't mind seeing panties. On the floor. But you know, like underwear on the floor. You know what I mean? Like like stuff like that. Plates on the floor, 
bottles of whiskey on the floor, you know, things like that. That's okay. not they don't belong on the floor. They belong on the shelf. That's the biggest. That's yeah. That's to it's me. It's just clutter. Yeah. Organize. To me, your house is cluttered. Your brain is cluttered. I think like eighty percent of it is clutter. Once mm-hmm. you get the clutter and and put things back where they go or they should go. And how do you do this? How do you maintain this? I always put everything when I'm exactly. done back where it goes. I'm done using my computer. Put it back where it goes. Exactly. I'm done using my cell phone. I put it back. I don't. I'm. Just, I'm done watching TV. The remote. I put the remote because. And it's really people hard lose when remotes. It's a small small area like an right. apartment or something like that but that's probably the best way to do it you use it you put it back put it away use yeah. it put it back right you finish using it if it's dirty clothes you put it in the dirty clothes don't say oh i'll put it in the hamper later no do it now no. right it's just five steps or play basketball that, Boom. Was, that was her main complaint by the way that he bleeds clothes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine his his fucking underwear with piss stains and and shit stains everywhere. <laughs> Why do you have to take it to that? Because like, guys, guys' that. underwear is like that. By the way, fun. guys, if you're over at the age of thirty, get dark underwear because shit happens. That's a little oh inside tip. Oh my god. I'm not gonna say where I got that from. Just, just saying. It happens. Dark underwear, no whites. The whites, uh, whites are under thirty. Over thirty, don't don't buy whites. <laughs> so you don't shit your pants until you're like thirty. Uh, until on you're the dark? like thirty, thirty-five is when you start like, yeah, they they don't they don't they don't stay clean for long. <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably send her this article. This one's pretty good. Yeah, send it to your coworker. Well, this sounds like a good idea. So she, uh, now I'm thinking, I don't think we've ever been to her, your co- co- co-worker's house because she's probably embarrassed to invite yeah. you and I to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. uh. She says sometimes he gets inspired and they'll clean like rushing when people are coming. Uh huh. But that's the only time he'll clean. He'll clean. So they must not get a lot of people. Yeah. Coming. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. She'll go, let's say, shopping or food uh-huh. shopping or whatever. She comes back uh-huh. and he's just there sitting, sitting, on the, down. sitting down watching TV or on his phone. Uh, I would be so upset. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Because yeah. then you come home with whatever you were shopping for, mm-hmm. plus the mess that you left. Damn. That's not nice. No, being, no, no sex for that. That's being inconsiderate. No sex for that guy tonight. <laughs> Probably sleeping on the couch. Probably. What else? What else is on your mind? Talk to me. You're my therapist now? Yes, I'm the therapist. Tell me. Tell me your deepest, deepest problems. I'm going to help you. Hello. I'm thinking. Oh gosh, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. This is gonna be another <laughs> on the next episode <laughs> <laughs> of uh of the bits for you. Um no, seriously, what else? There was something else that I, I needed to uh get off my chest. What was it? I don't remember. Take off your shirt so I can see what's on your chest. It's just hair. Oh. I have a hairy chest. So you gotta get hair off your chest? Yeah, maybe I wax it or something. No, I, I would know. never do that. No, it's kind of faggoty, but no. <laughs> oh shit! Why? Wow, it's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying I don't it's true. See that. Why not? It, it kind of is. You know, not that there's any issues with that, but still, I like saying that. Um, thank you for listening to the bits for you. Where can they find us? On iTunes. Yes. Um, Spotify. Yeah. Uh, the podcast app. What's that? Podbean. Podbean. Yeah. Radio Public. Radio Public. Stitcher. Stitcher. Why are you repeating everything I'm saying? Sorry. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Anchor. Uh, anywhere else. There's podcasts. that's too many to remember. I'm sorry. Cast Just box, like four. All cast. Pocket cast. There's a lot of them. There's dozens of them. Um, a lot of them are free. A lot of them are not. So it all depends on what you want. 
I used Podbean the other day. It was okay. It was okay? Yeah, I couldn't find that on Spotify, so I went It's Podbean. free, right? I think it is. Podbean, you just, yeah. You just have to register, make, make an account. Um, And that's it. That's pretty much... Oh, and please rate and, so, and review us. Things that you want us to discuss in the future. Um, episodes with uh, my wife, Diana. Send questions to bits for you podcast at gmail.com. Our social media is Twitter uh, and Facebook. Twitter is at Bits For You Podcast. You can search for our Facebook group, uh, just Bits For You. And uh, Instagram is Bits For You Pod is our Instagram handle. I look forward to getting messages from you guys and, and gals and interacting. Any last words, babe? Any last words? Mm. Be good. Be good? Mm. Oh, wow, you changed your word this time. You're not going to use the, the one you used before. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sad. All right. I love you guys. Besito. Bye.